Fellow pilots, a paradox. Most of us wouldn't think of driving our car with a badly mounted or out of balance tire. But far too many of us don't give the same consideration to our airplane tires. The Sting has one piece cast aluminum wheels and can use 4.8 by 8 inch standard utility trailer tires costing about $25. Anyway, after burning through 18 sets of tires on my Sting Sport in just under three years, I think I've learned most of the secrets of effective small airplane tire management. So let's begin with a quick review of the basic tools and supplies that are needed. Number one, a tire machine bolted down, includes a bead breaker, secures your four to 14 inch wheel, has a center post for using a tire snake. Number two, a tire snake to remove and install the tires. This one comes with the machine. Number three, plenty of tire bead lubricant and means to apply it. Number four, tire talc must always be used inside the tire and on the tube to ensure proper seating without folds or wrinkles. Number five, some type of wheel balancing device, such as this one from Harbor Freight Tools, and self-adhesive wheel weights, also from Harbor Freight. Look for the Motorcycle Wheel Balancing Stand, part number 98488, about 50 bucks. Number six, your best tire diagnostic tool, a GoPro camera. Better yet, a pair of them, one to watch over each main wheel. If a tire issue develops, or when you just want to check performance of a tire, put the GoPros on with a view of the wheel. Here you can see that the left main tire is only slightly out of round. The right main tire, however, is definitely out of round. And on takeoff, the right side shows significant vibration. The left side is vibrating also, but not as bad. Right main vibration and shimmy also manifests on landing. Note too that the nose wheel shimmies as it touches down. In doing the job, there are three tire management essentials. One, always use a new inner tube. Inner tubes grow up to 25% with use. Using the old one thus increases chances of a dangerous wrinkle or crease. Two, inflate and deflate the new tire several times. Seat the bead at normal pressure, then remove the valve stem and deflate. Do this two or three times to ensure the new tube seats properly without wrinkles or creases. Three, let it grow for 12 hours. New tires grow for 12 hours after initial inflation. Leave bias ply tires unloaded or off the airplane during this time to minimize permanent flat spotting and out of roundness. Now that we have three new properly mounted and balanced tires, let's go check their performance. I'm so happy. Give me a big kiss, baby. <gasps>